Give me fuel, give me fire, give me double shot as Welcome to Newton, Iowa at Iowa Speedway for the Iowa Corn 350. The last time we had a stock car race here was five years ago with the NASCAR Xfinity Series, but today the fictional Piston Cup Series is racing under the lights at the virtual Iowa Speedway. Let's take a look at our starting grid. In row one, J.D. McPillar and Brian Spark. In row two, last week's winner, Chase Racelot and Master Dragon 4000 in his gold mobile one paint scheme. In row three, Phil Tankson and Colin Bargain. In row 4, H.J. Hollis and Steve LePage. In row 5, Lightning McQueen and Conrad Camber. In row 6, Cruz Ramirez and Bubba Wheelhouse. In row 7, Cal Weathers and Brandon Powercar. In row 8, Daniel Squervez and Bobby Swift. And starting in row 9 is Jackson Storm and Ryan Laney. Here's the race format. 18 laps, 15.75 miles around the 7 8th mile track and pit road speed is 45 miles per hour. The pace car makes a hard left turn to the pits. The wait is over and we're racing at the Corn State. Ooh, Colin Bargain already hit the wall coming out of turn two. Jay McPillar still in the lead. Chase Ricelot trying to catch up to the four Jay McPillar trying to get another win the second week in a row. Jay McPillar leads lap one against Chase Ricelot and Phil Tankson. Phil Tankson has not advanced to the playoffs yet and we have one more spot left before everybody's locked in or if someone else could have but beat them by getting another win which is not in the playoffs they will be able to dethrone whoever is in 10th place or higher if that's possible we're in lap 3 already JD McPhiller leads the first two laps Phil Tankson is still trying to battle out Chase Racelot and catch up to JD McPhiller HJ Hollis and Chase Racelot side by side through the front straight away Phil Tankson is Trying to hold the 60 and the 24 off. Light McQueen is moving a bit too fast. And Master Dragon 4000 just dropped pretty low. I'm not sure what's happening with him. And also, we have a new change with the graphics. It's transparent, so the leaderboard of uh, you have to see some of the track and the, the cars now instead of just seeing a solid background. Because last week, at Sonoma Raceway, the graphics were just like solid, and um, uh, we could barely see anything. So you could thank me for that. Side by side for eighth place, Master Dragon 4000 versus Colin Bargain. Now it's a battle for ninth place. The leaderboard is off. Cal Wetters and Lightning McQueen are drafting in turn 4. Jay McPillar leads all 6 laps. Pretty impressive for him. He's trying to beat Lightning McQueen in points. Hey, Shake Hollis catching up. I've not been paying attention to him, but he's trying to still get his first win of this year even though he's one of the best of the rookie class or instead the worst like I'm talking pretty worse he's last place in the points that's how horrible he is right now still a battle for the lead J.D. McPhiller versus H.J. Hollis here they come entering the front straight away and get ready for the halfway jam
that is your halfway jam. H.J. Hull is still in the lead against Jay McKillar. And like around lap 9 or 10, uh, he was able to take the lead away from Jay McKillar. Jay McKillar trying to go back up to first place. Nope. Chase Racela is passing the number 4. And Phil Tinkson. Oh! The 68 and the 4 were in the wall. Here comes Chase Racela and Phil Tankson drafting to first and second place with 7 laps to go here at Iowa Speedway. I feel like Phil Tankson and the Chase Race Lot are just drafting to have a bit of teamwork, even though they're not teammates. Chase Race Lot leads with six laps to go. The only rookie in the top five is Zayshe Hollis and Master Dragon 4000 is in 10th place. Brandon Power Car, what's going on with him? He's all the way in the last place, including Daniel Swervis and Ryan Laney. Steve LePage is also not doing well. Anyways, five laps to go in the front straightaway. Now in turn one, turn two, it's Phil Tankson in the lead. Jay McKellar is still trying to catch up. Side by side in turn four, behind Phil Tankson, Jay McKellar takes second place. Now his target is a 28 Phil Tankson. Phil Tankson still in the lead. Chase Racelot is trying to get back second place. Nope, JD McPillar has so much momentum against the 24. Jackson Storm just slammed the wall once he came out of turn two. There's a bunch of wall damage from the cars already, as you've seen earlier. Three laps to go here at Iowa Speedway. And Cal Weathers passed the 24 Chase Racelot off screen. Conrad Cameron is the only impressive uh, part-time driver in the top 10 right now. Two laps to go here at Iowa Speedway. Battle for the race win, Phil Tankson versus J.D. McPillar. Coming out of turn number two and entering the back straightaway. Now into turn three. J.D. McPillar is trying to make it too wide. Ooh, Tankson's loose. He's in the wall. Final lap. One more time around here at Iowa Speedway. Jaden McPillar with the lead. Phil Tankson lost all of his momentum. He hit the wall on the last lap. And Phil Tankson is still losing a bunch of race positions. Now, coming out turn number three and entering turn four for the final time. Jaden McPillar is going to get his third career win of 2024. Congratulations to the Ford J.D. McPillar for winning the Iowa Corn 350. And a Hollis, another second place finish for him since the 2024 Florida 500. We'll take another look, look at that. So Phil Tankson got loose and just went to the wall and then the forward J.D. McPillar just passed him. Here's another view but with the helicopter. Mm -mm, that's not good. That onboard camera was um, uh, impressive though. First time I've shown uh, the sights. Here are the official results. H.J. Hollis is the fastest car of the day. Next week, we're racing at New Hampshire Murder Speedway for the Leak Less 301, starting June 19th at 2.30 p.m. Pacific and 5.30 p.m. Eastern. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is the Candy Cat 27, signing out.